What's up, y'all? My name is Victoria Renee, and I'm a writer, director, producer. Recently, I was approached to do three HIV prevention commercials that target the black community and inform them about PrEP. So I was like, dope, you got the right one. However, I'm black, but I don't speak for the trees. I'm not the Lorax. So I decided to brush off my handy dandy clinical psych skills and do some research. I wanted to research HIV in the black community. I wanted to research PrEP. And I also wanted to survey the population. Like I said, I'm black, but I don't know exactly what we want and what we want to hear because we're not a monolith. So I administered a survey. And what I learned is that HIV prevention and information efforts are vital for our community. I also learned through the survey results that we really like commercials that are relatable, that are in narrative format, that don't use dense medical jargon and incorporate a slogan or a catchphrase. And then what was really, really interesting is that the top preference for commercial type was a jingle. So I was like, all right, bet, let's go. So I wrote four commercials. One that targets men. It's about protecting ourselves, our manhood, our families, our community. One that targets women. Could you be with someone who's got HIV, but they're taking their meds, so the HIV is undetectable? Girl, please. I don't know about that Absolutely one. Absolutely <laughs> not. I would. One that targets like the black family dynamic. It was a generational one. Do it for your children. I charge your generation to put an end to HIV. And then one that involved a couple, because what I learned through my research is that many times we think about our sexual health around a sexual encounter. So when was the last time you've been tested? <sighs> Don't worry. Right. And then I was also like, OK, let me let me brush off these songwriting skills and actually write a jingle. So I did that as well. HIV won't get me cause I take P-R-E-P -E HIV ends with me cause I'm on P-R-E-P -E HIV won't get me cause I'm on P-R-E-P -E I knew the organization wanted three commercials so I went into the meeting wondering like okay which three out of the four are they going to choose and ultimately they purchased all four. So then I was like, bet, let's go into pre-production. And then I bought on the most talented co-producer, Dante Bailey. I'm Dante Bailey. I was the producer on this project. Victoria called me and said that uh, she had a series of commercials that she needed to do. I always love when I get an opportunity to step up and help somebody else to make their creative vision come to light. And that's pretty much what I did for this commercial, you know. My thinking going in was how can I make this easier for the director? How can I make this more accessible for the director? How can I make sure that she doesn't have to think about this when it comes up and we try to put out fires before they start? And that's pretty much what my job was throughout the, throughout the course of this production. That's why it's important that you have good crew on deck with you because it's not always on one person. You're only as strong as your whole team. So um, with this commercial in particular, I think it's important talking about HIV prevention and awareness, education specifically, and we don't talk enough, especially in the black community. And I think that the way that these scripts were written for this commercial were uh, really special because of the fact that we are getting an inside look of individuals where they're communicating about their status and taking preventative measures. And I think that kind of representation is really important within our communities. So hopefully this production will be a part of opening up that mindset and showing that something more exists than what we've seen before. Then I was like, I need someone who's efficient, who's organized, and who can keep us safe on set. So then I brought in Shanessa. Hi, my name is Shanessa, and I'm the assistant director and production supervisor for this project. And Victoria brought me on. Oh, and I was drawn to it because, I mean, first she wrote it. She's a great writer. And so I was looking at it, and I was like, OK, you know, we're doing this for you know, our community to, to get the message out there to, you know, about HIV um, prevention awareness. And so I was like, okay, I can get down with this. I'd love to help out. I think a lot of people are scared when it comes to ADing because they're like, oh, I have to be mean or I have to be strict. And for me, it was a lot of fun because it was about collaboration. It's not me yelling at people to say, hey, we need, we need to get this done. We have this amount of time. It was more so collaboration, how can I be of assistance to help us move 
on time and be on time. So that's how I went into the role. Um, I didn't, it didn't scare me. I was like, this is going to be fun. And I think the rest of the crew kind of latched on to that and understood, like, we're going to have a good time. We're going to get it done, but we're going to have fun while we do it. I wanted to make it feel realistic um, as a DP, because a lot of times commercials like this ends up look like infomercials and stuff, and people kind of ignore it. So I wanted to try to have a real cinematic approach so people can kind of feel entertained or connected. You know, those of us, we're used to seeing cinematic stuff. And so when we see something like that pop up, even if it's online based, we can pay more attention. Therefore, they can get the message. I know growing up, I didn't see a lot of images that look like me. And so I couldn't relate to a lot of things. So I didn't think certain options or things were uh, afforded to me or I'm allowed to have access to. So now on television, when I see people that represent me or look like me, then I feel like, oh, I can also live in this type of way, or I have these particular opportunities. Uh, and then also behind the camera, to have that perspective to be true and genuine is very imperative, as opposed to someone's um, observation or biased opinion on this particular cultural background. And to have that amount of attentiveness and support from a team actually makes you feel confident as a, as a filmmaker or as a DP or someone below or above the line to do the job right. So I remember us having a lot of conversations in pre-production about how, when we were talking about the script, um, that contraception and safety things are not talked about until after the deed is done of being intimate. So these conversations are super, super, super important to have, um, to have that awareness. And it helps that Victoria is black, <laughs> so she can speak, you know, to kind of our, ex our experiences and, and I noticed that some of the actors are saying, like, we could tell that the writer is a black writer um, because they felt that they could relate to it and it, it made sense to them. Um, so, you know, it's for us, by us, and that's a beautiful thing. And so all of it came together and I really think we've created some powerful pieces that I really hope will help our community and our health. All right. Thank you.